Hi, I'm Misty Adams with the Grapevine Parks and Recreation Department, Go Wild Program. Today I have with me our Gulf Coast Toads. We use these toads for educational purposes throughout the program, and today we're going to learn a few fun facts about toads. Today with us we have Pastel, our lighter colored toad, Bertha, she's our largest toad, and our smallest one here is Plumpy. He is our only male. These toads are amphibians and are of the subclassification toads, which means that all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. So what is the difference between a frog and a toad? Toads exclusively live on land. So they will have their life cycle in the water. They will, be, they will lay their eggs in the water, but they will emerge out of the water as frogs and they will stay on the land. Frogs will live um, a lot more in the water. Toads are much bumpier. So here you'll see that my, my toad looks very rough. Well, she is. She uses that to blend in with her environment or to camouflage. Frogs, on the other hand, will appear very smooth and slimy. And if you touch a frog, they will be slimy. And that slime that they excrete helps them move through their environment. Gulf Coast toads are probably one of the more common toads that you're gonna see in your backyard. You can find these guys in irrigation ditches, storm drains, in your backyard or your garden. As long as their habitat provides ample moisture and cover, they will thrive. Toads have a few defense mechanisms. One is they have a peritonoid gland right here on the back behind their eyes, and this gland will excrete a toxin. Now, it's not dangerous to humans, but it definitely can irritate our skin um, if they do excrete that. If an animal tries to eat them, such as a dog, they will excrete that um, toxin and it'll make them taste bad and they'll spit out uh, the frog or toad. Today we're feeding our toads some crickets. They love crickets. They're gonna use their long tongues that are kind of sticky to help them capture their food. One thing to look out for while we're feeding the toads is they will do a toe tapping. Their back foot will actually tap. And this is to help attract the food to them or to keep the prey moving so that they can see it. They sometimes call it Morris Toad. Thanks for joining me today and my Gulf Coast Toads as we explored the difference between frogs and toads. If you want more information about the Go Wild programs, visit gograpevine.com backslash go wild. And as always, remember to thrive outside.